create a new calculation, click on plus. Type in the, the name of the new calculation that you're about to perform. Once you have finished typing in the name of the calculation, hit the done button at the top of the screen. To open up a new calculation, now just click on the calculation itself. First screen is a load screen. Here we'll enter the load. We'll also enter the units. We could select amps, kilowatts or horsepower watts here. And also we could put a power factor. Once we've finished entering our load, we go to the protection information. So we can enter our device type. So we'll enter a type C breaker. We can now drop down the list and enter the rating of that breaker. Here we can also... Uh, or, um, put in our short circuit clearing time details, our earth fault loop tripping, and whether we have an RCD or not. Once we've finished, we go to the cable selection screen. Here we now select the cable that we're going to use. Now all cables that are inside AS3008 are available as selections at this screen. So for this calculation, we'll select XLPE. So we'll select it. We can enter the configuration, whether it's 3x1, 1x3, whether it's flat, circular, whatever. So we will enter 3x1 called trefoil for this calculation. We can also enter how this has been installed. So it's going to be buried, and it's going to be buried in conduit. We also will enter the run length of this calculation, and the volt drop required, which we've got as 3%. Also from this screen, we can put additional derating in conductors. We now hit the calculation. And as you can see on this calculation, we've got the size of the cable, the earth, the load, etc. And we can see in red that we have a warning. All warnings will be in red. And that warning is the fact that we've got an earth fault loop problem. And we can go and look at putting an RCD on or ticking MEN link. But what we also can do is we can go to the conductors. And we can say for this calculation, we want to put in a 16 mil earth. Close it. Redo the calculation and we can see that we have now corrected that earth fault loop error. So what, once we have finished, we can click the done. The calculation is automatically saved. So we've now finished. We can now go back into our calculation window where we see all of our calculations. And thank you for looking at our power pack for iOS cable sizing solution.